Not... How can it be took? It's 2 a. Oh, he's in you. Here's a shot though by Devine. He scores. Ryan Devine with a blast from the point. Makes it one nothing. A minute and 16 seconds in. Ryan Devine uh, dropped the gloves last night. And uh, he won his bout last night. Ryan Devine, former privateer. And frankly, I wish he was a member of the Wolves. I like him. He's a good kid. He is. He's tough, he's physical, and he can put up points. And he's a nice kid. He is. Now off the boards. Bennett couldn't control it. Chicarello to zone. Blue line turns. Sends it to Matt Jack. Fraser now at center. Neutral zone. Met up hard by Chad Bennett for a pretty good hit there. All the Whaler players thought it would be an icing. Erickson. LaBelle. Oh! What a hit by Mickey Knox. Now that was a nice hit to return the favor. To you can hear that the air come out of the body. That was a vicious hit. A good but hit. But he though, got I right say. back up. Vicious was the wrong word for it. It was a very good hit. It was a clean hit, but it was vicious. It's a tough game, Tommy. It is. It, it is, is a rough. Very Things happen. And oh, Sora went down hard at the end of play, and now Chicarello going Cicarello after. Chicarello comes over and pumps Labelle, who had thrown a good hit. Cicerello now is with Hale. We got everybody going at it in the Whalers' and who's end. Who's that in the corner? That's it's we got Mac Tack and McCarthy. Mac Attack and McCarthy pushing and shoving. Waiting to see what happens. There's Mac Attack's fight. got his glove up in McCarthy's face. Looks like they're gonna go. Wait and see. Everybody else is just watching now. They haven't dropped. McCarthy is throwing punches now. Somebody still has their stick. I believe that's Mac Tack who still has his stick and gloves on. McCarthy did throw punches. Yep, that is. Matt Tack still with his gloves and stick. McCarthy was the only one who dropped the gloves. Pretty uh, chippy end of the period. Will float up in the air and just over Mike Brown. Ah, well. Couldn't handle the puck and it goes all the way back down. St. Pierre to play it. And look at him play the puck. Shades around Hextall with that pass. Never liked Ron Hextall. A shot oh! by McDonald hit the iron. Bar. Went off the crossbar. It's the closest the Wolves have come tonight. Absolutely. LaBelle back in the zone. Plays it behind. Mike Brown out to play it. Brown had say, oh, oh, we got here McDonald a shot. And oh, what a what save a by Chicarillo. And Chicarillo will clear. He, he just saved the game for the water for the Danbury Whalers at the moment. Mike Brown got caught way out of his net. And McDonald got denied by Jordan Chicarillo. The puck game. was on the stick of the leading scorer oh, in the league. It was. What a play. That's a game saver right there Absolutely. for Danbury. Remember that one. Bennett. Oh, and a bit of a collision. Dion and DeLong is hurt. It was an accidental that was an collision. Accident, that was an accidental was. collision. Absolutely correct. Oh, DeLong is down and he needs help. You can't blame Dion for that. They were both turning towards center and they just couldn't avoid each other. Yep. And Dion, being the bigger guy, got the better of it. <laughs> Bronner picks it away. Knox losing his stick, gets it right back. And Knox will use it to play it out. And now he may have an opportunity here. Here's Knox moving in. And a great stay there by St. Pierre. That was a real burst. Of Whoa, we got a little bit of a shoving match here. Knox and Donlin and. Lines been getting in between them. I wonder if we'll get a penalty out of this. Don't Knox know what initiated on that. His, Knox put on a burst of speed and blew by the defense. And goes on the far side boards and Solar will clear it. Nice to see DeLong back and luckily it appears he's okay. I'm surprised he's back on the ice. Well he does look like he has color back in his face yep. again which is good. It looked like it probably just knocked the wind out of him. A little bit of a cut on his nose. Erickson. Watch St. Looking. Pierre. I'll, I'll let you know, Tommy. Lavelle shot. Stopped by Mike Brown. Another good save by the Danbury goalkeeper with a minute 18 to go. St. Pierre was looking. He was about 10 feet out of the crease looking to Coach Clark. 43 seconds left to go. Face off by Mike Brown. Lavelle and DeLong. They take this face off. They're on their feet here. Watertown Municipal Arena for the Wolves trying to tie this game. Donald and a shot. The flight oh, goes wide. Oh, I thought that was it. And it's off the side of the net. Loose puck. Here's Henning. Looking. It's Score! It. Henning with a shot from high in the slot. It's Henning. Dustin Henning. 
has tied the game with 32.5 to go. That woke people up. And to the zone. Now he does. If I were going to go to overtime. Overtime. And I have said since my involvement with the Federal Hockey League, the best thing about the Federal Hockey League is their overtime. And a 2-1 overtime victory. There's Donald in a shot blocked by Storm. And look out here, Storm in oh. a breakaway. Uh oh. Here he comes. He's been looking all weekend long. And he oh, has to get it there. A huge save by St. Pierre against the best sniper in this league. Good play by Ryan Patch to force the puck away. Brown giving it to Patch off the boards. Whoa! Oh. And Patch just got tattooed by O'Neill. Yes, that was a nice smack. O'Neill. Oh, well. Oh. What a save by Brown. O'Neill at the point now. A minute 56 to go in overtime. The goaltenders standing on their heads. DeLong is going to go first. What do you think he's going to do? What's that? What do you think DeLong's going to do? I don't know, but you know, I remember Frank Mahovlich getting a penalty shot, going in about 30 feet from the, from the net, stopping and taking a slap shot. Hmm. I think one of the primos tried that. Here's DeLong in. Score! Five hole and in. Right Ian DeLong. Right and through. he silences the crowd here right in Watertown. Through. And the Watertown bench. How about that little taunt there? A sneaky shot. You know, goaltenders know guys are going in. And it's that lousy butterfly. Opens that hole up. Well, here we go. Phil Bronner to tie things up. Uh, this is a surprise. Bronner in on Mike Brown. Steering in wide at first. Go to the backhand. Scores. What a nice move. And he threw his stick. Brown had lost his stick and then left his blocker side open. Leading to the goal. He so. held that puck a long time and just took Brown out of the play. It'll be Ryan that Patch now. Me. That surprised me. Patch. It also surprised me they both scored. The second shooter for the Whalers, Ryan Patch moving in on St. Pierre. Slows down. Stopped by St. Pierre. Never slow down. If you go in hot, stay hot. Now McDonald's to get the Wolves to lead in the shootout. He would have been my last shooter. <laughs> Having a phenomenal year. He's the F.A. Charles leading goal scorer. And he'll look to deliver once again. Here comes Justin McDonald straight through center. McDonald in. Off the post. Oh, oh. It's the goal post. And we remain tied at one through that was two rounds. An unusual move where he would that little dipsy doodle backwards. And Ilya Solarev, he had a breakaway earlier and was stopped by St. Pierre. I wonder what he'll do this time. S best sniper in the league. Here we go, Ilya Solarev, the third shooter for the Whalers. Moves in. And no, stopped by St. Pierre. St. Pierre looked behind him. Now well, got, I didn't guess right on Bronner, but I had LaBelle and McDonald. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good on my prediction so far. Here's LaBelle now for the Wolves. The captain of the Watertown Wolves moving in on Mike Brown. He scores! Oh! Whoa, what a shot! He made a nice move and went right up top. It's a best of five shootout, so... If the Whalers can score here, and Watertown scores in this round, it's all over. Richter needs to score to tie the game. Tim Richter, I mentioned him as well. He's got a shot that can break a nose. Here's Richter, in it scores! And it's all tied back up. Two to two, now Dane Erickson to get the lead back to the Wolves in the bottom of the fourth. The bottom of the fourth, I like that. Dane Erickson, fresh back from Huntsville. Here he comes, takes a slap shot, goes in. What a oh, save what a by save. Brown! If he, did, he tried to slide it on the ice, he couldn't get it up, and Brown playing beat him with his glove. He had the glove on the red line. 
and that denied him. That was a dandy save. That's going to be on the highlight reel all season long when it comes to shootout moments. He shot first, right? DeLong, DeLong. yes he did. Yeah. He scored two. Let's see if he can do it again. He does not. He lost control. And now, LaBelle, if he scores, the, well, the Wolves have won. Big moment here. LaBelle versus Mike Brown. Here we go. Here we go, Lucas LaBelle to win the game. Moves in. Yes! Oh, yes! Fine. That's, that should be a goal. That should not be a goal. Once it stops, that's it. It's first play. He whistled, and the referee signaled no goal at first. The referee, I, this is going to be interesting. And they rule it a goal. And look out for Mike Brown. Off. McDonald across for Bennett in front of nice oh. attempt at a deflection and Ray is denied by Mike Brown. Nice play by Mike Brown, his position. He was right in position, that puck was tipped right up into his body area. Well, I like to dump it in. A lot of dumping and chasing tonight. I hate dump and chase. I, I don't like that kind of hockey. A lot of teams do it. Here's Cole with a shot. Loose in front. Do they get the rebound? Yes, they do. And Justin McDonald in the right place at the right time. One in the thing for the Wolves, Justin McDonald scoring in both Wolves home games tonight. And the Wolves lead at 1-0 with 3.59 to go. I said early in the season, he is a puck magnet. Nice pass. He pass for Dion. Nice move to get past Fraser. He walks to the slot and a big save and oh. a rebound oh. wide. And now There might be two penalties coming up here. Penalties upcoming to Nevis Hockenmore. Let's see, it's a big moment here late in the first period. I'm surprised whoever ran O'Neal into the quarter post didn't get one too. But the, the referee had his hand up. The referee just signaled something. I did not see what he signaled. Looks like Steve Brown is going to, He's to gonna box. Go the The original call was a hold. Minute six left to go on the power play. Schoenberger waiting. Gets a shot. Dude, that hurt. That had it hurt, but it hurts, but it works. This is one thing I like to say. That was a good play by Dave Lon. He's very good at leading by example. That's why he's the captain. Schoenberger with it again. 51 seconds left to go in the power play. Here's Bronner's shot, and he scores! A wicked Horser. shot, a clean beat him. Bill Bronner gets the goal in the Wolves. Finally get a power play goal, and it is 2 nothing. In Bronner's defense, Bronner set that up nice. He shot that right past the defenseman. See that. Frankly, I didn't see it either, but I heard it. Well, rather. it was a slash. Here's Karansky walking all alone. By Chenard. Great he chance. Got that long leg out there. Chenard's six foot four. And uh, you know he's he covers up a lot of space. And now the other way come the Whalers. Liscom. Patch gets a shot. Scores! Ryan Patch gets the Whalers on the board. Chenard is looking at his glove like he you know, we all baseball players, hockey players, you look at their glove for the hole. That didn't go through his glove. He missed it. A shot towards the net. That was blocked in front. The Wolves come up. And now it's a lead pass up for Bennett. He's all low. Bennett and I'll go and he shot it too early. Yes, he and did. Yes, he away. did. In the Watertown zone. 10.56 left to go. Here's Schumacher. Gets a shot. He scores. Oh, through a crowd. Frank Schumacher. And just like that, we're tied. Again, a high shot. It was up over his glove. He was down. Shot it through a crowd. And, and I don't believe Chenard ever saw it. He used to come to our practices when I was in college, and we all got to know him pretty well. He was playing with the Amherst then. Look out, here's Sora. Oh, he yeah. scores. Ilya Sora finally breaks through. When Solarev is on his own in front of the net, you got to feel sorry for the goaltender because he's just playing a sniper. Ilya, I don't believe I have. I okay. don't believe he's been in a fight, but okay. he could do pretty well. Whalers have it again at Sora. Across from the law, he oh, scores! That's a hard one. That's a that's a tough one. And the avalanche continues. Ian DeLong scores in his second straight game. Now the the ref they're yapping at the linesman and the referee about something. 
Kobe Spooner had broken his stick, and he had gone to the bench to get another stick. Indeed he is. Wolves have the puck, trying to clear his zone. Good game by Fraser is. Him and Ray come together again. Now they're pushing it. Right there, right there. And they're going to go. Oh, no, Fraser isn't. Ray's going to get a penalty for this. He is coming away with Fraser. Fraser wants a part of it. Fraser, and there he goes, Quincy. Now we're going to go. Both goes in, Quincy, one of the players. And the now, Sean Berger and Zanella are holding each other. I don't think they're going to go yet. Carancy is in the pile, along with LaBelle. LaBelle is trying to get Carancy off of whomever's on the bottom. Fraser turtled, and Ray was hitting them. Fraser wanted a part of it. And now Ray's crossing the bench. Look out, he's a man possessed right now. He's going to get, uh, he'll get an instigator, I believe. He'll they're get gonna, suspended. They're going to get rid of him for that. Ray's going to get suspended. And it's easily picked off by the winners. They may have numbers. Here's one. Knox. With Patch trailing. Patch with it. His shot towards the net was blocked in front. Patch with a rebound. They score! The captain, David Lund. It's 5-2. to two. That was a real crisp pass out in front. And the Lund was standing right outside the crease. I don't think the goaltender had any chance on that. The Wolves getting a little bit of momentum here now in this third period. Nothing yet of it, but they still have plenty of time. Here's Chicarillo. Going along. Chicarillo to the net. He's got room. Looks and it scores. Jordan. Chicarillo gets the goal. It is 6-2 to two for nice the Wales. Two on one. Nice 2-on-1. Nice 2-on-1 play there. Nice passing. I haven't seen it personally, but I do know they have a baseball team there. The Westerners. That's the name of the team. It's Mike Brown. Oh, look out. They score. Play. Just that was a heads up play by Brenner. Instead of shooting the rebound, he saw his teammate next to the crease wide open. That was a heads up play. I got caught disgusting, but that was a nice play by the Wolves. Justin McDonald winning at the net and he caught Brown out. So with 9.03 to go, this suddenly becomes a three goal hockey game again. So the Wolves not out of it yet. Five seconds to go. The Whalers getting a little stick tap. Well deserved as the Wolves cleared out. The Whalers, 6-3 victory over the Watertown Wolves. And a big victory it is.